Moving on, post the historic privacy judgment, LGBTQ uh, members across the nation are pinning their hopes to Supreme Court's hearing on Section 377. Remember, a curative petition was filed in the top court to review its three years old decision to declare gay sex in private as a criminal act. And the petitioners have now found a strong support in former Attorney General of India, Mukul Rohatgi. Minakshi Bhanja spoke to the former AG as he spelled out government's stand on Section 37. Let's listen in. The judgment was delivered by the Delhi High Court, which decriminalizes homosexuality or unnatural sex as we call it and striking down section 377. The petitioners in the Supreme Court who belong to such group of people came to me after their plea in the Supreme Court was negated and the Delhi High Court judgment was reversed. So the only way to go back to the Supreme Court in a substantive form is what is called a curative petition. So I went through the judgment of the Delhi High Court, the judgment of the Supreme Court, and keeping in view the fact that these were Victorian morals, so-called, more than 100 years ago, 150 years ago, and keeping in view our concepts of liberty, and now you have the privacy judgment also. So. At that stage, I thought that this was a fit case where the Supreme Court should have a relook. And it has now been posted before a bench of five judges. Five judges have not sat as yet, but I hope, as in when they sit, they will take a modernistic view and not a Victorian view. And I must say, there is a big shot in the arm. There is a big shot in the arm for the petitioners in the Supreme Court because the privacy judgment of nine judges has virtually debunked the earlier judgment of the Supreme Court by saying it's a matter of privacy. What prompted you to you know, feel so uh, empathetically about this? See, one is the legal aspect, as you know. The second is that I also felt that great injustice was being done to uh, people who have their own sexual orientation. And it is not for me or you to say what should happen in somebody's bedroom. So, I mean, why should in a free world, in a free democracy that India is, that one should be able to say that, look, I mean, you have to be ostracized because you have a different uh, orientation. I don't think it's correct. And that's why I lent my signatures.